going again. I was generally going pretty, pretty low RPM, so low fuel, burn salt. Chelan 99 or Charlie is clear, taxi to the ramp. Chelan. I'll go ahead and take off on that fuel tank, but I'll definitely switch it sometime in the not too distant future. Probably, well, here's what let's do. Uh, now we'll leave it for now, that's fine. All right, we got this easy or whatever it is, long easy coming in. So we'll wait for him and then uh, we'll get going. I'm gonna take off. Take off runway two. In the last video, I abandoned my idea of landing at Lake Wenatchee in Stahican State, diverting instead to Lake Chelan. In this video, I continue along my new route for the day, flying further up the Columbia River and then heading up the Methow River Valley. Uh, well, that guy's hangar is pretty cool. He's got some good stuff in there. Yeah, I'll just take off from the intersection here. Lake Chelan traffic, Silver Luscombe taking off runway 2, I'll be departing out to the north, Chelan. Not the end of the runway, but... dam is here, but I'm going to overfly that dam. Oil pressure is very good, oil temperature is very good, voltage is very good. seven gallons reading on here and I know I've got more than that. Probably four or five. getting a little bit toasty on the ground there, but up in the air with the window open, it's real pleasant. All right, let's fly over this dam. Uh, the name of the Lake dam. traffic, be advised, got having from 14,000 to the surface in two minutes, Lake Chelan Airport. So let's see, what do we got for power lines? Got power lines going up the hill over here, but they're pretty short towers, maybe 50 feet, so they're way below where we're going to be. Well, that's how high up the hill we go here. But I see them, and I'll watch out for them. Oh, 
We're actually going to get pretty close to these wires, but I see them. They're probably a few hundred feet above them. They're no factor. They are no factor at all. This is Wells Dam. It's an embankment dam, which is simply a dam made by dumping and compacting soil and rock versus a dam of concrete like Grand Coulee or Hoover. It opened in 1967. It has 10 generating units rated at a total output of 840 megawatts. It provides power not only to Douglas County and Okanagan County, but to Puget Sound Energy, Portland General Electric, Pacificorp, Avista Corporation, and the Confederated Tribes of the Colville Reservation. Its reservoir is Lake Pateros. I was at 11. I had to have been there maybe close to an hour. It was a real pleasant stop. Would have liked to have talked to, guy, to that guy in the hangar, but I didn't see him when I walked over there. So I didn't want to... He probably would have been okay if I'd have walked in there. It's a business. So I'm going to exit the Columbia River here, the left. I'll head northwest a little bit, then north, following that valley. The Methow River Valley, I think is what that is. Okay, now that's a frickin' mansion. Good grief. Alrighty, we're gonna go up this valley right here. Probably go up it and then back down it. And then back along the river here. Which is cool, because you get different viewpoints. Things look different, but that's okay. So it's not just a total repeat. The Methow River and its valley define a 1,890 square mile watershed that drains into the Columbia River. The river was named after the Methow Native Americans and the valley has a population of around 5,000. The name Methow is an Okanagan name which means sunflower, alluding to the sunflower seeds. And we're climbing a little bit here, which I want to do because we're going up a valley. We're climbing 150, 100, 100 to 200 approximately. It varies. Zero right now. Got some power poles off to the left. Where do those go? Yeah, they go down the hillside there. Couldn't really see too well what they were doing, but I see them now. I saw some poles down on the other side of the river, so I figured they must have gone down, and then I, then I saw the wires, so that makes me happy. It's really, really disconcerting to believe that there are wires just ahead and not be able to see them. We're at 2220 RPM, 2200, running about 5 gallons an hour. But we're climbing a little bit, so burning a little more than we would be if we were at 2200 RPM in straight and level flight. Because we've got to add power to fight gravity a little bit. Oh, 
122.9 and then 122.8 math out. Twisp is 122.9, so I'll just stay, stay where I am. Add a little power and climb a little bit. We're at 1500. Okay, Twist Municipal is only at 1600. So that, this doesn't climb a whole lot. It's a little disconcerting because I can't, it looks like it's just steep mountains ahead, but this valley definitely winds around. Yeah, so we're gonna go. We're gonna. We're not gonna keep going this way though, where all the mountains are just towering. Let's go ahead and turn this tank on. Turn that one off. So our right tank sucks. This is. I got a lot going on here. This is rugged terrain. We're climbing a little bit. We're not real high above the ground. I want to be on that full tank. Later in the flight, if it's level ground, not rugged, I'm higher up, any or all of those things, I can switch over to the other tank and run it dry if I want to. Woo! This is crazy, this is disconcerting because it just looks like super steep terrain ahead. I could turn around here, but. All right, but this, I know from the VFR chart, that this turns, bends around here and just keeps chugging up the valley, so. That house up there looks like it's under construction, but <laughs> be a great view. But a little bit of a trek to get up there. Huh? Looks like a barn. I mean, it's built in the style of a barn. Twenty-two hundred RPM. Oh man, I couldn't even see the valley around this corner. That's crazy. I got plenty of space to turn around here if I had to, but... That's pretty cool. A little bit disconcerting. Big house up on top there. burning five gallons an hour or so. We'll burn even less on the way back because we'll be going downhill.
Twisp traffic, Silver Lusk up 10 miles to the south, Twisp. Twisp Municipal Airport opened in October of 1945. It serves the town of Twisp, which is one mile away and has a population of around a thousand. The town was created in 1897 and began with only a small store and a post office. It was originally called Gloversville and was populated by miners and ranchers. When the town was incorporated in 1909, one of the first issues it faced was whether or not it would implement prohibition. Hilariously, the saloons served free drinks on election day. The voters rejected prohibition by a vote of 56 to 32. This was about 11 years before the 18th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution was passed in 1920, prohibiting alcohol across the country. That lasted about 13 years until it was repealed by the 21st Amendment in 1933. Now let's climb up a little bit. As we're getting close to the airport here. Twist traffic, Silver Lusk up five miles to the south. I'm at 2000, I'm going to climb up a little bit and orbit the airport before landing. Twist. 4.4 point, 4.7 gallons an hour at 2200 RPM here. And manifest here, man. That's a funny house. It's wood, but has a tin roof or something like that that's really shiny, and it's a round house. Kind of looks like a teepee on, teepee on top. That's funny. So the airport is south of the town and directly in the middle of... Uh, the valley. So we'll overfly the field, look at the windsock. I think I see the airport there. Go ahead and fly towards it for a little bit and then I'll swing wide once I get closer there. Traffic. Silver Lusk comes orbiting the field at 2400. Twisp. And both left hand pattern. What is that? 2 2 8? Yep, and 0 1. Watch out for these hills over here. Uh, quite a few hangars there on both sides of the field. I'll try to land this way, wind permitting. And it looks... Looks calm here too. Traffic, Silver Lusk up, left downwind, 2-8, Twisp. Yeah, this is good. Twisp traffic, Silver Lusk up, final, 2-8, Twisp. Might be a little high. 
uh, pretty good, I think. Well, not, I don't think. Added just a tiny bit of power there. Speed's good. Actually, another that was another good approach. And quite a quite a decent landing there. I'm real happy with that. Yep, the windsock's dead. I saw it correctly. Twist traffic, Silver Lost comes back taxiing 28 Twist. Look, looks like a few nice hangers here. Those look sweet. In the next video, I'll continue up the Methow Valley, landing at the beautiful Methow Valley State Airport.